Hi everyone, my name is Kay Ramos. Welcome to my YouTube channel, the place where I share things that hopefully will inspire you somehow. Today, I would like to talk about something that I always experience constantly where I had to shift my mindset from my usual mantra and totally change it. So I'm sure you have heard this motto, the greatest motto of all time, never give up, don't quit, quitting is for losers and quitters never win we've all heard something along that line but is it really doing us any good so i'd like to share some lessons that i've learned from my experiences on when to really give up and when to stick so you are probably in a situation right now where you are torn whether to give up or to stick to something, whether it's still worth pursuing or time to let it go, whether it's time to just toss it or still hold on to it. And I would like to share five questions to you today that work for me. And whenever I face these particular situations, I always look back to these questions in order to redirect me. So hopefully these questions will also help you number one question is why did you do it in the first place so the very important word that i would like to highlight there is why what is your motivation behind it what prompted you to try that particular activity particular hobby particular relationship and what aspect of it enticed you so you really have to know the big why underneath that particular thing Way back in 2017, I wanted to blog because I wanted to share my ideas, uh, share inspiration. I want to share the word of God also. I didn't know about all the signs of blog posts that time. I just wrote what's in my heart. I woke up the next day with tons of notifications out of the bloom. And I was surprised because my first post became one of the popular posts on Medium. And so many people were able to relate with it. I received tons of private messages telling me that they are in the same situation like me. And yeah, the post really inspired them. And then I found out that you could earn money from blogging it. And I found this course that teaches you all the science behind a blog post and all. I have nothing against the course. I think the course really helped me so much in order to discover myself and in order to find out what's not working for me. So I shifted my topic from, from inspirational post to science posts and all different things. Many people still like the article because they learned something from it. But inside me, I felt like a fraud because I cannot share something that I know from experience. I only share what I've read. I read all these books every week. I read at least two books every week, scientific books and all, in order to share something. I write without a soul. It felt like a big burden on my shoulder and I knew it's time to let go because I lost myself in the process. So you are probably in the same situation right now where your greatest why shifted and now you feel empty. So it's up to you to decide, are you willing to experience this emptiness for a long time or is it time to move on? Second question to ask is, does it still spark joy? Now, I know you've heard this from the very famous Marie Kondo, but this is a principle that I always live by. I will say though that we won't feel joyful at all times because there will be times when it becomes really tough. But the question is, is there still a part of you that enjoys doing that particular activity? Or is there still a part of you that enjoys being with that particular person? Because that's what will Will make you stick to it so for example in marriage it's not always rainbows and roses right it's not always a honeymoon period but if there is a portion in your heart that still spark joy you would always find the reason to stay Seth Godin has a book called The Dip and it talks about the phases where it seems like we are going nowhere like we seems like we are stuck in that particular stage forever and that's where we are being tested the most but if you know the reason why you still keep doing it or why you still keep hanging on it will be easier for you to adapt on those particular phases I like what he said let me read he said 
Never quit something with great long-term potential just because you can't deal with the stress of the moment. That's true, right? Because there will be really, really tough times where we feel like giving up if we know the greater reward that awaits for us. If we value that long-term goal, then we are more than willing to stick to the process and to endure the tough phases of that particular thing. Third question is, will you be happy associated with this thing 10 years from now. So for instance, someone finds out that you did this particular thing. Will you be proud enough to admit it? Or you'll be like, oh my gosh, I can't believe I did that thing 10 years ago. Number four, this is a very important question that you cannot neglect. Does it align with your inner compass? Sometimes we do something and then we get steered up into a different direction because of the shiny object syndrome. Now, when you reach that point, examine yourself does it still conform with your values it is very difficult to fight against your inner self because there will be that inner voice telling you or making you feel guilty whether you did something or not once you are clear with your values you will be more at peace with your decisions because you know where you stand i like what the bible says on galatians 6 verses 9 let us not become wary in doing good for at the proper time we will reap a harvest if we do not give up. If we care strongly about something, then it is easier for us to cope up and adjust when the not so good part of the process come. Fifth question is, are you willing to face the opposition? So if haters flock you right now and say the most devastating things in the world, are you willing to tell yourself it is worth the fight? Whatever you do, there will always be opposing sides. There will always be people who will not appreciate what you do. And the most devastating feeling is that there will always be people who think that you are a fraud. From my perspective, I'd rather do something that I deeply care about even though people around me do not like it. Let's admit it, let's face it, not everyone, even your own family or even your own friends will accept what you are doing right now. Okay, sometimes they won't even believe in you or some people would think it's ridiculous why you are doing this particular thing. But if you know where you are standing, if you know your values, if you know your end goal, you will be proud enough to stick to the process. Now, if you decide to give up, please, please, please give yourself some grace and don't think that you are a loser. Like many successful people say, when winners fail, they fail fast. Winners don't always win. Winners don't always get their way. Winners don't always get the great results. If things did not work out, you can throw a pity party, but then you also have to move on because if you fail on this particular thing, then the next thing might be the better opportunity for you. The next thing might be the better relationship for you. The next thing might be the one that you are looking for. But if you keep on holding on to something that is clearly not working anymore, then you will miss the opportunity to find that one thing or to enjoy that one thing that is clearly meant for you. On the other hand, if you choose to give up right away because you are experiencing a particular tough circumstance or tough situation, you also lose the great reward. Imagine you have invested the initial effort. If you really care about something so deeply, you are willing to endure the tough situation. You are willing to give your best and understand that even though you are giving your best, it will not always reciprocate right away. But if you stick to the process, you will reap the reward eventually. I really do hope that these five questions will help you in coming up with a great decision on whether you give up or you stick to something that you are doing right now. Thank you so much for sticking up with me until this part. If you learned something from this video, please don't forget to like it. And you can also drop a comment below for a topic that you would like me to discuss and of course don't forget to subscribe so you will be notified on the next video hopefully you can join me again next time again this is Kay Ramos sharing some inspiration your way have a great day bye bye